Lactation. Introduction. The fundamental secretory unit of the breast is the alveolus, which is surrounded by contractile myoepithelial cells and adipose cells. These alveoli are organized into lobules, each of which drains into a ductule. A group of 15 to 20 ductules drain into a duct, which widens at the ampulla, forming a small reservoir. The lactiferous duct carries the secretions to the outside. Breast development at puberty depends on several hormones, but primarily on the estrogens and progesterone. During pregnancy, gradual increases in levels of prolactin, PRL, and human chorionic somatomammotropin, as well as very high levels of estrogens and progesterone, lead to full development of the breast. Hormones affecting the breast are mammogenic hormones, promoting the proliferation of alveolar and duct cells Ductal growth is carried out by estrogen, growth hormone, cortisol, and relaxin. Lobular alveolar growth carried out by estrogen, growth factor, cortisol, prolactin, and relaxin. Lactogenic hormones, promoting initiation of milk production by alveolar cells. These include prolactin, human chorionic somatomammotropic hormone, cortisol, insulin, IGF-1, thyroid hormones, and growth hormones. Withdrawal of estrogen and progesterone can also have a lactogenic effect. Galactokinetic hormone, promoting contraction of myoepithelial cells and thus milk ejection. These include oxytocin and vasopressin, which is 1% to 20% as powerful as oxytocin. Galactopoietic hormone, maintains milk production after it has been established, these include prolactin, which is the primary hormone, and cortisol and other metabolic hormones. Composition of breast milk. The epithelial alveolar cells of the mammary gland secrete the complex mixture of sugars, proteins, lipids, and other substances that constitute milk. The composition of human milk differs from that of human colostrum, the thin yellowish milk-like substance secreted during the first several days after parturition, and cow's milk. Cow's milk has nearly three times more protein than human milk, almost exclusively a result of its much higher casein concentration. Cow's milk also has a higher electrolyte content. The difference in composition between human and cow's milk is important because a newborn, with its delicate gastrointestinal tract, may not tolerate the more concentrated cow's milk. Secretion of the complex mixture of constituents that make up milk are carried out by five major routes. Secretory pathway. The milk proteins, lactobumin and casein, are synthesized in the endoplasmic reticulum and sorted to the Golgi apparatus. Here, alveolar cells add calcium and phosphate to the lumen. Lactose synthetase in the lumen of the Golgi catalyzes the synthesis of lactose, the major carbohydrate. Lactose synthetase has two components, a galactosyl transferase and lactobumin, both made in the endoplasmic reticulum. Water enters the secretory vesicle by osmosis. Finally, exocytosis discharges the contents of the vesicle into the lumen of the alveolus. Transcellular endocytosis exocytosis. The basolateral membrane takes up maternal immunoglobulins by receptor-mediated endocytosis. Following transcellular transport of these vesicles to the apical membrane, the cell secretes these immunoglobulins, primarily IgA, by exocytosis. The gastrointestinal tract of the infant takes up these immunoglobulins, which are important for conferring immunity before the infant's own immune system matures. Lipid Pathway Epithelial cells synthesize short-chain fatty acids. However, the longer-chain fatty acids, greater than 16 carbons, that predominate in milk originate primarily from the diet or from fat stores. The fatty acids form into lipid droplets and move to the apical membrane. As the apical membrane surrounds the droplets and pinches off, it secretes the milk lipids into the lumen in a membrane-bound sac. Transcellular salt and water transport. A variety of transport processes at the apical and basolateral membranes move small electrolytes from the interstitial fluid into the lumen of the alveolus. Water follows an osmotic gradient generated primarily by lactose. 
present at a final concentration of 200 millimoles and, to a lesser extent, by the electrolytes. Paracellular Pathway Salt and water can also move into the lumen of the alveolus via the tight junctions. In addition, cells, primarily leukocytes, also squeeze between cells and enter the milk.